Welcome everyone to day two of Wellness Week at Sturgeon Heights Collegiate. Let's continue. Last time we talked about why graduation was an important part of the high school experience. Now that we all realize that graduation is important, what can we do to move towards that? Well, the simple answer is, let's take some actions. So what actions do you need to take? Well, one, credits. You need to make sure that you are registered in the correct courses with the correct timetable and with any help you might need, for example, timetabling some help from student services or InformNet or tutors, this will lead you on the path towards graduation. In addition, you need to complete your courses or pass the required courses towards meeting the requirements of the credits that you need towards graduation. So courses lead to credits and credits lead to graduation. Perhaps it should go without saying, but you need to attend. You need to arrive at school, get to class, hopefully on time, be present, not just physically, but mentally for that class. This will lead to completing a course and engaging in your own education. You need to be prepared. You need to have any materials required for the course. That might include books or papers or pens or gym clothes. You need this as it will lead to completing the course and therefore completing the credits. You need to do the coursework. This includes any testing or assessments in that course to give you a chance to show you the best of your abilities within that course. It will lead to completing the course, which will lead to completing the credits, which will lead to graduation. So when I say you need to take action, action is an active thing. It's not a passive thing. It means you're doing something, not just passively letting things happen to you. You take action means you are taking charge of your own destiny towards graduation. Once you've taken action, but you encounter a challenge, as we all do, we are here to provide help for you. How do you get that help? Well, you can certainly approach our fantastic student services and administration. They can help with timetabling tabling, if you feel you're not in the right course, or you need to check on which credits you have and which credits you need. You need help getting into an alternative type of program or connect with even special services, for example, educational assistants or tutors, etc. We have access to social workers and psychologists and coordinators and counselors that are accessible to the school if you need additional supports like how to get to school and how to deal with personal problems. Believe it or not, the teachers are paid to help students, which means it's our job to help you to get your coursework done and therefore get your credits towards graduation. They can provide resources, one-on-one -on -one help, alternative assessments for students when struggling in a course. Often, all you need to do is ask. Everyone needs help with things, everyone. Sometimes actions can't be completed without a little bit of help, and we're here to provide that help. Thank you everyone for day two of Wellness Week. If you have any further questions or need clarification, please see Student Services to continue exploring this topic, and have a great day here at Sturgeon Heights Collegiate.